Normally we'd be able to hold a parent information session where we can meet you in person and we can share all the information you need to help you with the important decision about uh, where to start your child for their first year of schooling and also all the information you need to know to be aware of what your child can expect, what you can expect and what you need to do in preparation for starting school in 2021. Hi everyone, my name's Kate McCallum and I'm the leading teacher for engagement and wellbeing at the Prep to Four campus at Yarrawonga College. So I want to talk to you for a minute about how we really prioritise student wellbeing at our campus and our whole college. With our prep students, we love to get to know them before they've even started here with us at school. So that involves kinder visits so that we can chat to the teachers and see them in an environment where they're comfortable before they start their school readiness program. At the school readiness program, we love to see how the students play, but we also love to do some oral language screening so we can start to make a profile of your child's strengths and challenges um, before they even begin their learning journey with us. For those students that have difficulty with their academic abilities, we create individual education plans if they are 12 months above where they need to be or 12 months below. So we're really trying to teach each student at their point of need. We develop a student learner profile for each child that starts with us at our school and that profile gets developed over their years of school so that when they get up to year four, um, we can really have a holistic understanding of your child's strengths and what helps them to be a great learner. It's really important for us with these individual education plans that your child's success is measured against themselves. So we love to see individual progress and that's why we set individual learning goals that they can continue to achieve and build on. You'll notice as part of your book pack that you purchase, each child will have their own wellbeing journal and that's because we really prioritise building a growth mindset, developing relationship skills, um, working out how to play with each other because we know that when students have their wellbeing needs met, they are able to be their best versions of a learner. The other thing we start in PrEP is our Resilience Rights and Respectful Relationships program. And this is really important in also teaching children how to play with each other, how to stand up for themselves, how to report something if there's a problem and is part of the um, Australian curriculum. So we follow that as well. The biggest thing that is going to help your child to be successful though is communicating with us at a school. If you have concerns about your child or you want to discuss their learning needs, now is the time to start. So please get in contact with us so that we can ensure a smooth transition for your child. Thank you. So we're here with Mrs Brooks and some of our fine preps and at the start of every reading or writing session we'll bring the kids to the floor where we introduce the new concept and really explicitly teach a particular focus. So we're going to see Mrs Brooks with her big book now. Boys and girls, today's big book, let's have a look. We're going to predict what's going to happen in the story. Let's look at the front cover. Put your hand up. What do you think might happen in the story? Um, Harmony. People might be going to town. People might be going to town. This looks like a town, boys and girls. Great prediction. Excellent. Boys and girls, we're going to now read the title of the big book. To town. town. Excellent. This is written by Joy Cowley. Boys and girls, I can see a magic word in the title. Can anybody else see a magic word? Delilah. Two. Two. Excellent. I wonder 
where to is on our magic words. Have a look up here. Here's our golden list. Have a look. Taylor, could you please come and use our pointer and come and point to two? Fabulous. T O spells two. two. Excellent. Let's start reading our book, boys and girls. To town. That to way. town. That way. It's a signpost. Yeah, it tells you where to go to town. I will go to town on my bulldozer. My big yellow bulldozer. Boys and girls, what is the descriptive word to describe the bulldozer? Teaching four and five year olds in their first year of schooling really requires a level of engagement and work into their strengths. So they love to learn with their hands, they love to touch things, they need to be involved in their learning. Gone are the days when we sit children down and just talk at them. Uh, we start at the start of the day by giving them snippets of information and allowing them to go away and explore it. So over here we have children writing high frequency words or making those high frequency words with their magnetic letters. This activity will last for about 10 to 15 minutes maximum um, and kids can repeat the same activity or continue to make new words. Most importantly over here we have our explicit teaching happening. So this is for our guided reading sessions or our strategy groups and the kids come together in terms of what they need and the teacher will teach to, um, to those needs. So one of the, the great things that the college has are the teaching tables. So they're interactive by way of, they're a whiteboard table and the teacher is able to give feedback straight away to each child. When they're doing their reading, they have a little whisper phone and it allows them to hear only their reading and only their feedback. Uh, another inter um, interesting feature uh, is the, the furniture in our new school. And this is a, a chair designed to give feedback. So as the kid rocks, um, they're still able to maintain their focus, but their body's moved a little bit. So they're designed so that they can still move, but they keep their focus. Our school readiness program is an eight week program which runs for about two hours every Friday morning for the first eight weeks of term four. It is a great opportunity for all of the prep staff to get a really clear snapshot of your child. So from day one of next year, everyone is clear and comfortable and familiar. The children are able to make nice little friendships, meeting new little friends, and they're able to become comfortable in the new school surroundings. We go and visit the library, the admin, the canteen, and all of the playgrounds. And they'll be familiar with all of the prep staff, support staff, and the leadership team. Due to the circumstances this year, as you will be aware, parents aren't, unfortunately aren't allowed on site. So this year our school readiness program will be held here in this beautiful nature space. We encourage you to park along Gilmore Street, which makes access to and from this drop off and pick up point easy and smooth for you and your child. Myself and two other fully qualified primary teachers run the program. Each session is play-based and we focus a lot on gross motor skills so the children will be throwing, running, hopping, jumping, catching and also the fine motor skills which strengthens their hands for all of the wonderful writing that they'll be doing next year. Ultimately, we want to make next year, their first year at big school, comfortable for yourself and for them. We want them to be feel safe, excited and familiar with their prep teacher next year, with their prep classroom and the entire school surrounds. So what will it cost to send your child to Yarrawonga College? Well families really only have three things that you need to worry about. One is the curriculum support levy which is what we call our fees. Second is our book list items, so the materials your child would need during the day. And third is our uniforms. Our curriculum support levy covers 
valuable educational programs that we provide to your children and it just helps to cover the cost of actually providing those. That includes swimming, visiting performances, um, theme days and excursions. You are really only looking at somewhere between $150 and $180 a year tops to cover that. The book list. Uh, you do need to provide the materials that your child needs throughout their school year in the classroom but we actually provide you with a book list um, with all the items, it's all costed out and you can actually just take that to Yarrawonga News Agency and they can do the whole thing in one go for you which is fantastic. And the third thing is our school uniforms. You can see some of our 2020 preps modelling them right now. All of our uniforms are available through Judd's menswear. We like to suggest that parents actually start making some purchases sooner rather than later. It spreads the cost out um, and that means that you'll have um, a full set of uniforms ready to go at the start of the year. It also means your child can experience wearing them, get used to them. So as you can see, we have our t-shirts, that range from about $27. Um, the beautiful girls winter tunic, you're looking at around $69 for those. Our school jumpers are actually only about $40 and our school dresses come in at about $69 as well. Our bottoms are just navy blue, so you can get them from Judd's menswear, but they are not monogrammed or labelled in any way, so if you want to keep some spares that have just come from one of the department stores, that's certainly an option as well. Hi everyone. Your child's learning will start at 9 o'clock and it starts with our two hour literacy block and we cut that roughly into two sections, an hour of reading and an hour of writing. And our aim at this level really is to instill a love, a lifelong love of reading and writing. During the day, your child will have multiple breaks. It will start at recess, so our recess break starts from 11 to 11.30, so it's 30 minutes uh, supervised play outside. Then they will have a break to eat lunch inside, and it will be supervised by the teachers. And that will start at 1.15. They will eat through to 1.30, then they get to go outside to play in their de designated play areas for 45 minutes. So that is their breaks and we have multiple brain breaks throughout the day to just get them up, um, get their brain thinking and moving and then back to learning again. So as we've discussed in the morning we'll do two hours of literacy and then we'll go to a break outside and then when we return we've got two hours before lunch and during that time we engage in our maths work um, which has two different components but lots of hands-on work so we have two hours before lunch and then uh, after lunch is an hour, but for our preps, that last hour it feels like the longest hour of the day, doesn't it? They yes. often lose, lose their steam, particularly in the first term. Uh, so we recognise that, and in summer when they start school, when they come in, we will spray them with little water bottles and we'll have some um, downtime on the floor and just cool down and regroup. We've had kids fall asleep in the past, but as you can see over the term, their stamina really builds, but we do recognise that. We also know that a kid's work is their play, so to give them that play in that last hour is so beneficial. To recap, school finishes at 3.15 and we look forward to you being part of our school family potentially in 2021. Stay safe. Bye! Bye. Bye.